up. That sounded like the beginning of the stairway to heaven, Abby. It did. It for real did. I'm gonna cry. Except the Black Sabbath version. It was called Stairway to Hell. No, I'm gonna like that one. Um, just the Hebrew version. Alright, it'll get to uh, November 18th. Mount Liger. What? November 18th, 2019. Oh. <sighs> I think we should get a cup of beer or something, just in case, man. Just run quick. No. Just I don't do lose. it. Don't waste nothing. Let's we'll get a towel on the <sighs> oh, I haven't picked on these in a long time. This one's a whole towel. I'm just kidding around. I'm an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. Triggers are people, places, and things. <sighs> Sounds weird. <hard. laughs> <sighs> I got a bunch of holics and isms about me. So make sure you need. Yep. My shirt's super pretty. Do you think that works when you put, like, to slam, put salt in it? Do you think it works? Or nah, just, like... I don't know why they do that, because it kind of foams it up. But then it, the but foam takes it down, I think. I think they do that just to get rid of the, the bitter flavor. They're just trying to be cool. I don't know why they do that. Like, what do you pour it right in the beer, or on the rim of glass, or... I'm not a... Salt person. Do I think people just pour it? Is he popcorn or crackers or whatever if you need salt on it? Oh, no, I mean, I was just wondering. Well, I don't know. I'm saying it's like, why even just pour it on the beer or the beer? So. Or another thing I don't get is people fucking put the, <coughs> the eggs, like a raw egg in the beer. That's fucking disgusting. <coughs> or uh, like a handful of olives. Yeah, it was only like a fresh and air away. Oh. You know there's like fancy names for drinks that are just pretty much like, you know when you ain't got mates you gotta put water in your vodka or blah blah blah. There's actual names for that. Like fancy names. The rich people drink that shit. I think they're... I thought it was just... The Russian names too. Uh, or I heard something like that. Like Nixon... Ginger ale, like brandy, is only some weird damn. I think I'm gonna be a mixologist again sometime soon. Go back to being a bartender. I know, that's a good sense. A mixologist. Time for it. Try out aces and at first I really didn't want to do it because I'm a drinker, but I actually enjoyed it. I imagine it'd be pretty easy, even if you were like a heavy drinker. Mm -hmm. And I don't drink half as much as I used to, but I thought that part would, you know like, what I mean? That would bug me. Like, I think it's harder to be a waiter than it would be a bartender. But, I, um, wait, I, wait, I wait just for over 20 years, too. Yeah. And I only bartender for two. But I think I like bartending better. 
and I managed two of them. Here, this is which ones. <laughs> Best watch man. No, just think of like the lowest one. The lowest one. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yes. <laughs> and a bunch of the man. also purple Pur film. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you know? <laughs> You know those cheap hotels? I do. Are, are by you the name of the ring. By the name of the ring. Yeah. Remember that my boss was like, whatever you do, don't ring to bands. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, right. First band that came, I'm like, yeah. What do they do? Trash the goddamn place. Like, really? Like, you're really a band? And like, you're really at a motel? You got a trash, trashy motel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna, uh, you were at like uh, <coughs> Winfield Inn forever, and then like twelve years. Yeah, and then like fuck, you left like a month right before I started working there. And then when I started bartending and cocktailing, I was doing well one eighth of the work, making like twice as much money. I was like, wow, what were they doing it? Okay, but whenever I get a job, whether I like it or not, I try to stick to it. I don't know why. Right. I just. Money. Money. Money is something to do. So, <coughs> so out of trouble. Um, I, the stability of the check coming in, I guess. I don't understand that. Unless you get something every now and then, you get like a job surprise or something happens, or it's like, wow. You don't like something weird or whatever. You it's find like, something that you can keep it. Right. Or I like places where they're not so quick to tell you what you did wrong or blah blah blah. And if you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean I understand that, of course, just blah blah blah, I've got a business to run. But you know, it should but be when a, you get like it should be a job. You know out when, there. when employees or employees, when uh, patrons come dumb, and say to your boss, dangerous. yeah, I like this person. But blah, there blah. should be like at least one job out there that you can be drunk on the job as drunk as you want. So <laughs> you get paid. Marie, hello. <laughs> well, I was thinking more like, well, isn't that just a rock star? Thing, like, <coughs> record drunk, play drunk live, do interviews drunk. <laughs> well, you could probably do that. But you either have to be so hardcore. I think that's like every musician is kind of struggles something every now and then. I know the feeling. Uh, <laughs> struggling with you struggle with rock stars. It's like my friend just said last week. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave my guitar here because I don't want to bring it on the dollar bus. And he was like, you know what? It's a lifestyle. You can't just clock in there. I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> But I'm still coming back for my guitar, okay? <laughs> yeah, what the hell are they making? Like those pie turnover things? Like a, um... Or souffle. Pot pie or something? Yeah, like turnover pies. I think they're called. Yeah, flip them over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, turnover pie. Or, yeah, uh, it's like you cook it. Upside down, the four dollar thing. You can make pizzas like that too, like with the cheese stuff on the bottom. On the bottom? Yeah, I suppose that would yeah. Yeah, because then just crust on the top and then. Oh, okay, like a um. Yeah. Like a juicy pizza or whatever. And then you get all that cheese stuff, and then you just turn it over and it doesn't stick. Or whatever. I don't know. I I only worked at like that. So I did pepperonis for like two days. I would get started so learning, but they didn't. They didn't need money over the you know, over there after that. Like, I don't know if I can handle the heat back there, man. You could feel it coming from that little fucking window when you go and order your pizza. Yeah, like, oh. especially the door, handling the door and everything. <laughs> but dealing with like an influx of customers all waiting. Right. All waiting, all hating. <laughs>
Anyway, wait, the trick is, I think it works every freaking time. After you have your application, wait about two days. Two, three talks maybe, and then come back. Hi, this is Ronnie Warrior. I put my application on such a date, Thursday, whatever, blah, 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 blah. When's my interview? I was just calling to see when my interview is. And they're so put on the spot that they usually set it up. Set it up for you? Mm -hmm. well, kind of. Yep. They're really I desperate I anyways. Where I lived. It was they're from, like, help one, uh, and the science just sits there for like a week after you turn it out. But it was from somebody who was <laughs> successful, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so James, I took that advice and it worked for me. It's going to follow you everywhere now. Man. What yeah. dick? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, wow, wow. You're just gonna see it. It's gonna mind you. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna end up back at the house too. Just watch. Oh shit. They're super nice people though, man. Super nice. Video going on. Sausage party? Did somebody say sausage party? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, I end up being mushroom party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This gay guy went to get his ass kicked at the gas station, so I stuck up for him and. We kind of walked away together because I wanted to get his ass kicked. Right. And I started telling my stories like, "Wait, this guy's behind." Like, oh, jeez. So I was like, "I don't have nowhere to go." So I went with him. And super nice, great people, but um. You left me to a job, so I didn't. Yeah, no. No. But the house, oh my god, but her overly gay. It was overly gay, but it's okay. It's flamer friendly. Flamer. Yep, and dick everywhere, posters, I love it. Uh, candles, I, most of my friends popsicles, are gay, so. uh, chocolate yeah, candies. Yeah, I guess I'm the cold or... It's like, you want some chocolate? I'm just like a dish full of candy, and, yeah. shit, chocolate and, and they're just as bad as women too because they will, they will, uh, like, they'll yeah. fight with you for stupid shit and not talk to you for months, like, are you kidding me? You know, like... Oh, that's crazy. That's cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, of course, you know. Hospitality the show is amazing. But, right, yeah. yeah. Like, I would last her one day and... But I know some people, like, be friends. I take friendship <sighs> and take it. I don't know what you mean. Right, that was my thing. Like, take you, shit for I can do it. And I'm not a homophobe by any means. Like, I was raised by two moms, you know? And I wasn't a homophobe. Like, like I was, I'm still, like, I don't want to be hit on or, right. you know, I don't think yeah. that would happen, but you yeah, know. I'm definitely cannot afford to be a homophobe. My daughter's gay, and right. my mom was so. Yeah, like uh, yes, yeah, my mom was gay too. I and mom's. and you know, like, like seriously, I'm so happy my daughter. Yeah. Oh, I bet. I bet. <laughs> I bet. Like my, because after what I've been through, guys are disgusting. Uh, some pictures, man. Oh yeah. Are. I'm like, at least she can that. hold her own. Right. Because you have an amp, bud. You can download an amp app. You know, I had three have an amp around here. Huh? Don't yeah, they're super loud. Here. That's a nice looking guitar, though. Silver tone? Man. Guess what I got from? Use it with string. I know. I got it from Cambo. And. Cambo's old one? Yeah. Oh, watch and. Whoa. Dude was like, this used to be my guitar. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I got it. This guitar's been around more than. I got a lot of freaking offers on it. Look at. This just never happened. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. It's like, can I steal this shit? But, I don't know. Oh, Tony. You just got out of here. But I do, I can take uh, it a lot better than what I used to get. It just. Yeah, it's not a Tony. I mean, I'm pretty much a rock star, but, like, I don't have to come. I love the neck on that guitar. Like, like, well, I like the shape of the body, it looks like a good song. <laughs> Do all muckers. I nice. wish it was a good thing. I mean, if you want to. So, you know what I did? Yes? <laughs> so, you know what I did to tune it? Do you remember you guys be like, just Google it? Because I always be like, bugging you. You can download an like, app for tuning it too. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, I would show you. Because they kept saying, because they were like, simply saying, how do you tune my guitar? <laughs> why don't you just Google it? I'm like, why? When I can just have you tune it. <laughs> you tune it. That's sweet. Oh, is that a homework? Do a homeworker? Should pick up right there and should pick up right there? Okay. 
Yeah, and uh, pick up, just pick up 